Narcissists do this to destroy your happiness. Narcissists hate to see you happy. They hate to see your pleasure and contentment. They hate to see you have any sense of trust and confidence in a person, arrangement or situation. They want to see your pain. They want to see you suffer. Because they can feed off that. It fuels them. It makes them happy. It brings them joy. They love to see your sad face. They love to see you down and out. Especially if you are an empath. Because you wear your heart on your sleeve. They know when you're happy. And they also know when something is getting to you. Because empaths make their feelings obvious rather than hiding them. They show their feelings openly. So narcissists know exactly how you feel. They can see it on your face. Which is why they will often intentionally do things to disturb you. Because then they get supply. They get fuel from that. It brings them pleasure. Which is why they will often stare at your face. And you may be unaware of it, but they're constantly watching you. And they're trying to read your emotions. But they never fully understand it because they lack empathy. They have an inability to share and understand your feelings. Which is why when you're in pain, or if you're going through something, they're not going to be there for you. They're not going to care. Because they're sadistic. They derive pleasure from inflicting pain, suffering and humiliation on other people. It gives some power over you because it makes you miserable. It keeps you down so it makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like they have something. And it doesn't affect them because they can't feel your pain. So they don't feel bad. They don't feel guilty. Which is why the abuse never ends. There's no cutoff point because there's nothing to tell them that what they're doing is wrong. They have no conscience. They don't value anything in life. And they don't believe in God or a higher power or force. So they're free to run rampant in a way that is difficult for you to control. Which is exactly what they will do because they need fuel. They need supply. They can't function without it. They're very insecure and they're emotionally unstable. So they have to make you feel something so that they can feel powerful. But even then all they ever get is an illusion of power. Because it isn't even real. They can't even understand emotions. Which is why they stare and obsessively monitor you. Because they fear what they can't understand or control. It makes them feel insecure. It irritates them. So they have to bring it back in. They have to bring it under their control. By manipulating your emotions. So that at least then it will occur on their terms. Which is why they hate it when things are going well for you. Because that's outside of their control. But they love it when you're sad. They love it when you're going through something. Especially when they're the cause of it. 
which is why they specifically target empaths and vulnerable people not because they're trying to help you or to create a stable environment for you but because they see an opportunity to control you and to use you to regulate their own emotional state by making you feel even more pain which is why they have to target victims of abuse because those types of people are easy for them to victimize and they also see it as a challenge because they like to learn you they like to figure you out to see if you're going to give them what they need to see if you're going to give them supply which is very creepy and weird because they're not even trying to connect with you on a personal level they don't care about that they don't value it it means nothing to them because it does nothing for them instead they want to study and observe you because they don't understand human emotions they don't feel anything like we do so it makes no sense to them but when you feel sad or out of control it regulates their emotions it makes them feel happy and secure they get off in it which is why they're always watching you because it's doing something for them it's giving them what they want they're feeding off your negative emotions they're like rapists they've learned to be this way from their childhood so they get off on forcing you to do or feel something they get off on making you do things that you don't want to do while you took on a different role from your childhood the last thing you want to do is to make someone else feel uncomfortable you may not have been taught to have strong boundaries although you may decide to have them but you may also have been taught to let other people have their way with you and that may bring you pleasure because you enjoy other people's satisfaction even if it's at your expense so you may be a codependent or a people pleaser or maybe you're just an empath but you took a different path in life based upon your experiences in childhood but my advice to you from one empath to another is that if a narcissist is watching and studying you you have to try to fake your emotions you have to try to smile even if you don't feel like doing it and when you do that it will make you feel better anyway and then those narcissists won't get supply they won't gain satisfaction at your expense and then maybe they'll leave you alone because that's all they really want forget about everything they say they value or care about because it's all bullshit if they cared about any of that they would be attending to those things instead of studying you all they care about is gaining their own pleasure and satisfaction at your expense that is the only thing that matters to them which is why they will shapeshift and go back on things they said they were important to them they will cheat lie and steal because the truth is they really don't care about anything in life other than getting supply other than hurting you and making you feel sad they're confusing you and making you question your own identity 
because at least then it's you and not them. And they don't ever want it to be them. The last thing they want to do is self-reflect. Although I'm sure that if you're an empath, it's something you do every day. And if you're around narcissists, it may often get to you. Because they have to be seen as perfect, while you have to be flawed. So every day you're questioning yourself and you're trying to be better, but they're never going to be satisfied. Because you're never going to be able to satisfy their impossible expectations. They will always want more. Because it's coming from their ego rather than their soul. They have a need to feel important. They have a need to feel pleasure and satisfaction at your expense. By hurting you and making you feel sad. And that is the only way that it can be. They don't know any other way to live because they're weak. So all they're ever going to do is hurt you and blame you. And then put a mirror in front of you just as you're about to react. So that you blame yourself for the abuse. When it all comes down to it, that's all they're ever going to do. Because all an abuser really wants is for the victim to blame themselves for their own abuse. They want to abuse you freely and without any consequences. And at the end of it all, they want you to look at yourself and what you've become. Even though it's the result of everything they did to you. Because they don't care about you. They don't care about the future. They don't value anything in life. And they will try to twist it and gaslight you. And project it onto you. Because the last thing they want to do is look at themselves in the mirror and self-reflect. And they also don't want you to see yourself as you actually are. Because that would also destroy the illusion. But the truth is all they care about is themselves and what they want. Which is their in the moment pleasure and satisfaction at the expense of your pain and suffering. Because that's what feeds them. That's what makes them feel alive. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You could book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.